I don't have a prom. They're on sale. Dude, I love this. This feels so good. No, it looks good. Wait, wait, wait. No! Ah! Ah! Really excited to have these guys in my collection. I'm gonna open them up soon. Had a massive sale on gouache. Honestly, I'm a colossal nerd. And yes, this is the same day of seeing this movie, and I know I word vomited a couple things, but I have to say, this is honestly... Somebody just hit him in the nuts and he loved it. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> He's like having a mild stroke. Shifted to a frog, shape shift back into a person, but kept the brain of a frog. Oh, I love when they mess up the eyes like that. It's so funny. That's what his face is supposed to look like. That's what we got. He's he's like, not okay. It's like a SpongeBob sucker, all, like the, the ice cream thing. All yeah, over. it's yeah. like when they, they load the gum eyes wrong. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Psst. Cooked octopus. Yeah. I slap your face. Whatcha? No, not doing it all. Whatcha? Whatcha? Not into good time. <laughs> I was about to say, I've seen enough anime videos to know where this is going. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, now for you, it'll be. Ew. No, no. No, no, no. Last month's vlog title was a joke because while I was buying a lot of gouache, it was nowhere near the amount of Copics. Like the amount of Copics we got, guys, was insane. Like I completed my Copic collection. I have no more room to grow it. I would have to buy another marker shelf to grow the collection anymore. And that's crazy because these are four Spectre Noir shelves and each one holds 72 markers. That's a lot of markers. So it was kind of like a little joke. I meant what I said at the end of last month's vlog where I said, you know what, we're going to slow down because I'm really happy with the gouache I have. I don't really see any need to get more or go have another big push. And then my store, the store that I work at, had a massive sale on gouache. These are six tubes and I couldn't say no because I have no willpower or self-control. So I got them and I genuinely might get more but I would have to go on a day where I'm not working so I can have all the time in the world to look at what I have and create a list of what I want because these were some colors that I really were eyeballing but was like you know what I can go without them but with the sale they were at the perfect price so let's go into all six tubes I'm gonna actually save the one I'm the most excited for for last because I really want to talk about that color but starting with red or which is a really solid color really good color because you're gonna use it for a lot of mixing same thing with Van Dyke Brown and raw sienna so these are really good colors that are great for mixing I also got two purples this one here is brilliant violet and this is light purple so very excited to add these to my collection and the one that I'm the most most excited for the one that I think is gonna be really fun and really great to play with indigo indigo is a really fun color to play with because there's so many great things this is useful for it's a great mixing color but I love to use indigo colors for skies it works to create a really nice solid dark sky but still have a tint of blue so I'm really excited to play with this one so yeah these are all series one except for one series two which I believe was the nope it wasn't the indigo it was light purple so that was my only series two the rest were series one so I just wanted to get some extra extra colors for mixing and now I have to find a home for them in there. I need help. I really do need help because it's getting a wee bit out of hand. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I filmed the video where I made this by the way. Now I'm going to have to update it with all the new stuff because my release schedule is terrible. But we're getting there. Thank you guys for everything. Like again, we want a couple subscribers. You guys are amazing. And so we're slowly getting to our goal. So let's keep that going. Got some fun videos planned. And yeah, let's go ahead and roll the next clip. Hey, pretty, pretty, pretty. We need this. We need this right now okay. in our life. Okay. Yes. Should we not to drink it just out the bag? No, I could see Dad being offended that it's not Cuban coffee we're bringing into the home. I'm really curious about dark chocolate coffee. I want to try it too. And this is just cool. I love how it's Army of Darkness themed. This is great. Army of Dark Chocolate. I no, it. I get it, but it's Army of Darkness no, themed. Okay. Yeah. So, uh,. What were you saying? I don't have a prom. They're on sale. You know, I think you do. I don't. Just a little bit. I've got projects. Sure, that's what they all say. And I've got your credit card. 
Wait, what? No! So, as you guys saw, we were at Joanne's. I had to pick up a couple stuff with Sarah because she's got some new crocheting projects. But I have some loot that I really want to talk about. It's right here, and I do have a piece over there that's so big, I can't actually fit it in this space. And I can't wait to talk about that. But we're going to just kind of start in no particular order with this little coffin that I got at Michael's. It's unpainted wood. It's super cool, super tiny, super cute. I'm going to paint this black, do a little bit of decal work on it. And I think this would be really cool for all the nibs from my dip pen because I currently keep them in a little unpainted treasure box. I think having a little coffin will just be more on brand and I absolutely love this. At Joann's, I got these cool little stamps. So it's two bats and two cats, which I think are really interesting. Mainly bought it for the bats, as you could tell. I mean, guys, it's me. Bats are my favorite animals. Batman is my favorite superhero. I think it's kind of clear why I bought this. Either way, I want to give this a try. I've never bought a fabric stamp before, but I'm willing to give it a try and see what these are all about. So I thought that would be really cool. At my job, we actually got a brand new reset for Fiber Castell, and there's quite a few different fine liners that are going on clearance so i picked up 11 just a red a burgundy a couple grays a blue a green and even a black one i thought i'd give them a try now these are really interesting these are kind of similar to microns but instead of archival link they just use normal india ink so they are waterproof but they're not going to be alcohol marker proof and they have a variety of nibs like there's a couple of like small ones a couple of brush ones in there one thing about fiber castell is they're finally going to the main system because they literally would just do like small medium extra small small brush now they're actually incorporating like zero one zero two zero three and they don't have to guess anymore, which I really do appreciate that. And these are also no-go forwards in my store, so I picked them all up. They're like $1.50 before tax, and I thought that was a really good price considering they're normally like $2, $3. So why not pick them up while I can? And then, because we're super close to Blue Beetle, my action figures finally came in. You guys know I am a huge Blue Beetle fan. Would have already been released by the time that this video goes out, but I did make a special episode. That's the history of the Blue Beetle going into even the Fox era when the character first came out, which, by the way, was in 1939 the same year as batman that's insane but yeah so this is the jaime reyes blue beetle battle mode and the jaime reyes blue beetle from the main line so really like these guys i think it's super cool i love the accessories they come with i had to get both uh the villain is also available in this line and i think that's it i don't believe they're going to be doing a dan garrett or a ted core from this line luckily mcfarland already did a ted core figure that i'm going to pick up soon and i really want them to do a dan figure i think that'd be really cool also would love to see a kingdom come version but we do have the dc direct one either way really Really excited to have these guys in my collection i'm gonna open them up soon and that's pretty much it in terms of the loot i actually no take it back we do have the thing that's over there but i also pre-ordered the blue beetle bug popcorn bucket that unfortunately is a cinemark exclusive and the closest cinemark to where i live is actually like in jacksonville in orlando which is quite a bit away so i had to pre-order them i having them shit to my house i ordered two one for me and one for my dad the bug is one of my favorite fictional vehicles in comics it's also my dad's favorite that and the phantom cruiser from space coast those are two phenomenal phenomenal vehicles and I absolutely love the bug I think it's super unique the only other toy we've ever gotten in the bug was a really crappy one in Batman the Brave and Bold which I think I actually reviewed on my channel I do know I own it packed away somewhere but it basically took the bug and made it super chibi and also made a pincer beetle either way I don't really like that toy in terms of it's an accurate representation of the bug I mean it's a fun toy I remember liking it when it came out when I was a kid but in terms of like being accurate to what the bug actually is especially in the show it really let me down so this popcorn bucket is finally going to be a way for me to get Get an accurate representation of one of my favorite vehicles of all time again that has not come in yet but i did order them and then i'm going to be ordering my tickets tonight super excited about that can't wait for the movie i'm so hyped for it and uh yeah let's go ahead and go into the last piece of loot that is too big to fit in here because this one's a bit of a weird one but i really like it it's a giant sharpie shelf we had this at work we hadn't used it in like three years they're gonna throw it away and they're like do you want it and i said yes and i don't know what i'm gonna do with it now it's really big it's actually too big to fit in the area that i work in so i'm gonna save this clean it up get rid of all these stickers and then repurpose it into something again not quite sure what yet but i'm really excited to have this and do something cool with it so yeah there we go we got some big pockets here we got some smaller ones here it's pretty sturdy too it's like at a good weight like it's it's not heavy but it's like a pound and a half maybe two pounds so yeah very excited about that and that is oh you can see the mirror there and then you can see also this is my little area right here in the garage there's the ac you're probably hearing it blare but yeah so very excited about this very excited for the blue beetle movie so that's everything for today i I got some editing to do so let's go ahead and get to the next clip this is going to become my new favorite like sub genre of content just looking at cute little dogs is just hanging out the window oh my goodness look at her little face in the mirror and look at her she's so adorable and majestic what do you have to add to this party she's so weird she is the widow's bean
you've ever done seen. This has to be one of the coolest things I've ever found at Hot Topic. It's Spider-Man 2099. Not just the shirt, but it actually is like his logo. And I love shirts that do this, where it's like, it's super easy to just, oh, slap some comic or movie poster art or whatever on a shirt. But I love how they took the time to actually make it look like his costume. And it feels super comfortable. Like it's breathes really well. It's very form-fitting. It feels like a costume. I love the feel of this shirt. I feel like it looks really good on me too. Like it really holds onto my body pretty well. It's an extra <laughs> large. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Yeah, I'm just agreeing with you. Well, what do you think? It's good. Looks good. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I was a little nervous that it wouldn't fit. This is an extra large. Uh, sorry, this is a large. Normally I go for an extra large. But no, this fits really well. My shoulders feel really comfortable. I mean, to be fair though, they kind of had to build this with like a big shoulder in mind because in the movie, Miguel's built like a fake truck. <laughs> Dude, I love this. This feels so good. No, it looks good. Wait, wait, wait. No! Ah! Ah! I have been No, no! No! I've been told to turn on the couch! I should have known! No! You're breaking cover rules now! The day has arrived. It's here. It's here. I got this backpack. We're gonna go see Blue Beetle. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Blue Beetle! Alright, let's go. This hey, Dad. Thing. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Dad. Is Blue Beetle the best movie you've seen this uh, year? It's the best I've seen in the last probably 10, to be honest. This is probably the best movie I've seen this year. Nine out of. You know what? Ten, actually, no, nine out of ten because there are a few little minor nitpicks, but. I absolutely love this movie. I love this backpack. It's and worth seeing twice. I'd actually pay to see it again. So here's my question. We are obviously huge Blue Beetle nerds. I mean, we're wearing yeah, matching yeah. search. What about the non-comic book nerds? What do you think, Sarah? Please, enlighten me. What do you I thought it was a great movie. Thank, Thank you. you. It was amazing. It was really, really fun. There were so many great Easter eggs. Just literally. Movie of the year. I bet. I really hope it does well. Someone said it might actually beat out Barbie. Oh, it will. Uh, Once yeah. 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 We'll have to wait and see. I'm excited. All right, to the bug. Oh, I broke it. That wasn't scripted. It, Spoilers! I, no. Spoilers! Oh, no. We can fix it. We can fix it. There we go. Mm -hmm. I don't have the bad guy actually figured a fake fight with. But yeah, so it's been well established. I'm a huge comic book nerd and I'm a huge Blue Beetle nerd. I mean, I made a 33 minute video on the history of the character going back to the Fox era. Obviously I'm a colossal nerd. And yes, this is the same day of seeing this movie. And I know I word vomited a couple things, but I have to say this is honestly, if it wasn't for Spider-Verse, this would have been the best movie I've seen this year. Spider-Verse beats it a little bit. Spider-Verse was a 10 out of 10. This one's a nine out of 10. Close 10 out of 10. Just a few little nitpicks here and there. Just a few little things I personally would have done to make it just a little bit more of a solid story but seriously this is legitimately one of the best superhero movies I've seen in the last five years this was just everything I wanted from a Blue Beetle movie and more. I was laughing the whole time. It hits you in the feels. Guys, I'm serious. This is really DC's like best thing they put out in a long time. I really love this movie and getting to see just so many things about this character that I love so much finally on the big screen. It was just truly a just incredible experience. I, I cannot stress how much fun I had with my family watching this movie, how much we laughed, we were excited, we got into the fight scene. The soundtrack's really good. A little disappointed the main Blue Beetle theme from the trailer wasn't in the movie. Again, it's a nitpick. That's the thing about this movie. It's just little nitpicks here and there, but I love the respect and attention to detail to the continuity. I love how you can go into this not being a huge fan of Blue Beetle, but still enjoy the movie. And then those moments where you you are a huge fan and you get the reveals it's like it, it adds extra bit to it and i love this popcorn bucket like this thing is so cool it opens up right here so you can store all your popcorn i'm gonna bring this to work because i'm a huge nerd so i can show people knew it but yeah you do know it because well, you married this nerd and the thing about this too is i'm actually going to try and modify the straps so that i can have this hanging on the wall i think that would be so cool especially with the other popcorn bucket yes i did a order that one as well because I'm a huge nerd. Actually order two, one for me, one for my dad. But seriously guys, go see Blue Beetle. This movie is really something special. I think it has potential to just be a big hit. And there are moments in the movie that my wife 
pointed out where like we had these conversations and I love the flow of it. I love how it addresses that Jaime isn't the first Blue Beetle. But I love how you also have other hints to everything. It's, it's, seriously guys, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. It really is one of the best movies I've seen this year. It's probably the movie that I've enjoyed seeing the most this year. I would pay to see it again in theaters. It's that good. Not just because I'm a huge Blue Beetle fan, because of how good the movie was. It really did capture the feel of the comics and just, it was a fun movie. It was a great family experience. Seriously, go see the movie. I've talked enough about it. I'm probably going to rant more about it. I may even make a dedicated review on the movie. I know this isn't a re movie review channel. It's a art channel, but I can't put to words how much I love this movie. I, I am a huge nerd. It's been established, but this is one of those ones that really hits just a chord for me, and I, I really can't recommend it enough. Please go see it. Anything you, you want to add, Birdie? You know what chord it hits? What? Ted chord. Ah! Ah! All right, you're done. PSA time, because I have been saying this for years. If anyone asks me for advice, I have a couple things I say. Practice, because the more you practice, the better you will get. Invest in your craft and get the right tools that you need to succeed. Now, that doesn't mean go out and buy the most expensive paint. Go out and buy the best, highest rated paint. That means get yourself some decent paint and a decent canvas. If you're doing watercolor art, get some decent watercolors, but get some good paper, because if you try to do watercolor on Bristol, or if you try to do it on Heaven for bit like printer paper, you're not going to succeed. I mean, there may be one or two people out there who's so skilled they can make it work, but for the most part, you want to get the tools you need to succeed. I definitely had one of those cases over the last few days where I've been working on this huge airbrush mural that I really like how it's coming out, and unfortunately, I didn't have this during most of the project. I picked this up towards the end because of how frustrated I was using my normal masking techniques. I tried using acetate, I tried using tracing paper, I tried using art tape, and a lot of it just didn't work, or it did but it was really time consuming. And if I just used this from the start, I really would have saved myself a lot of time. So this stuff was a super clutch MVP during this entire giant mural, which is currently outside drying and I'm constantly checking to make sure it's not raining because with Florida weather, it rains so freaking much. But yeah, this was seriously the MVP. And if you ever ask me for advice, I'm definitely gonna say like one of those three, four things because it seriously is some of the best advice that I can give artists. Take your time, practice, invest in your craft, and make sure you have the right tools to succeed in your tool belt. With that said though, I do have two pieces of loot that I'm super excited to talk about because one was a gift for my dad and the other one was something Sarah saw that she said, you gotta pick this up because I have been looking into this. I wanna do definitely something with this and I think this will be a really fun video in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look. I just got one word for you, Shazam! This is cool. So my dad found this in the $5 bin at our comic shop and this is a treasure of a find. Specifically, these are reprints of the first ever comics that DC published with the character after acquiring them from Fawcett Comics and that's just cool like these original comics are so cool the original Shazam comics are so clever so kid friendly so cartoony I love them and they kind of kept that going with the DC run and they even brought back the creators of the character Daniel Neal the writer and CC Beck the artist and CC Beck's art is amazing I kind of like to think that Dan Mora took a lot of inspiration from CC Beck you know both of them have really solid anatomy but it's clean it's a little simple. It's solid though. And they also have really good expressions, big eyes. And again, just the cleanness of both of the arts. I would not be surprised if CC Beck was a major influence on Dan Moore. I don't have any proof of it, but that's just an observation I made. And this is super cool. I'm actually not going to put this in my room. I'm going to put this somewhere in the shelf because I really do like this. You know, if I had to pick what my favorite era of comics was, as tempting as it is to do the Silver Age because of Jack Kirby and all that stuff, I really, really do like the Bronze Age. And while this is not as detailed or has a strong anatomy like that, it still hits what I like to see in the Bronze Age. And I really do like this. The Bronze Age, my favorite era of comic book history, but this was a super cool find I had to show. And then the other cool find was from Sarah, and that was this 19 piece kit by Folk Art, and it's for pendulum painting, or as this puts it, swing painting. That's a little weird. Either way, this is pretty cool. It gives you like this little device that you can do. It's about two feet tall, two feet wide, and you could do some pendulum painting. Now, I am not a huge fan of creating random things for randomness sake, but what I like to do is to use different patterns and build upon it and create a really solid illustration. If I do abstract, it's because it's enhancing an illustration like something I'm actually doing right now. So really excited to try this out. I think this will be a fun video. I will be doing something with acrylics, which guys, it's me. I normally don't do anything with acrylics. So I think that will also be a fun challenge. And yeah, that's all the for today. It's been super fun. Not gonna lie, I've been feeling too good the last few days, but I'm gonna look on the bright side because tomorrow's a new day and I'm almost done with my new piece and I'm super excited. So yeah.
things are going good and i can't complain i love doing youtube because not only am i finishing up a massive like 500 dollars project but i'm also going to be working on another project where i'm drawing a giant buff axolotl i'm not going to give any more context to that and it's just something that i love about my job but i have some loot that i really want to talk about unfortunately i don't have a lot of time because not only is it late it's past one o'clock i just finished dnd &D naruto with my friends but i have work in the morning so i can't even sleep in so i'll make this super quick i got this stuff right here this is a double tack mounting film this is really good because it's acid free and i needed to do some mounting for a frame project and then i have this right here this is strathmore 500 bristol what's really great about the 500 series is that it uses a special plate technology that only strathmore has and it creates a super smooth super clean surface that takes forever to dry and absorb materials you put onto it so if you use a lot of wet media like alcohol markers or ink they will stay wet on here longer so you have a longer blending time and play time that's really cool i can't wait to try it we had this in the 11 by 20 so I said, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. I also picked out a giant thing of mat board that I need for a project, but it literally doesn't fit in here and it's over there and I'm just going to leave it there. Now for the main piece, the part that I'm the most excited for. So this came in today and I got two of them. One is for me, one is for my dad. I talked about it before, but it's the Blue Beetle Bug Popcorn Bucket. And this is the coolest thing. This is something I've wanted for years because we've only gotten one other toy of the bug. It was in Batman the Brave and the Bold. I had it as a kid and the beetle sat in here. So I had this bubble in here and then it also had the pincer here so it didn't even look like the bug and the legs were on the side it was super weird this actually looks like the bug it's such a great design because it's literally just the comic brought to life and i absolutely love this it's surprisingly articulate like you can move these legs here they don't swivel or move down here but i actually really like this and if someone who's really good at modding or 3d printing they could easily make their own legs to pull these out and replace them and then the back here it has some thrusters but it also lifts this part up right here which it does do in the movie minor spoiler and there you go and that's actually where you put your popcorn and it also comes with a little lanyard so you can attach it on the side here but what i realized this is actually funko pop scale or three and three quarter inch like you could put your funko pop figures in there and it feels right at home and with how big this is you could make a couple cool little displays and stuff like this is just ripe for customization and i'm really tempted to buy another one just so i can customize it and create a really cool bug i am just so excited to finally have the bug in representation now if i can just get the phantom cruiser from space coast and the batman arkham knight batmobile with the adam west skin i will have my three favorite vehicles of all time because that is just awesome it's so cool and i love how it is in scale of funko pops it's crazy to me and he just chills on my desk i absolutely love this i'm gonna be hanging this somewhere in my room i don't know where yet this is so cool and i haven't given my dad his yet so uh i'm gonna go do that and i really can't wait to see his reaction it's gonna be awesome and priceless and this thing is so freaking cool yeah i'm a nerd but you know what i'm me i'm only me and i ain't nobody else and i gotta look on the bright side because a lot of people don't do that and I, i'm just i'm just a colossal nerd so uh yeah on to the next clip really yes want to see magic trick no 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 yeah you stole my beanie you stole my beanie well i still got my little beanie mm. <laughs> Guess what? what? We got something custom framed. In here is the paperwork. I can't show it to you guys because it has personal information, but I'm very excited. And it's actually not one of my pieces of art. We'll talk about that later when it comes in, but I'm super excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's something that we've been talking about for a while. So I'm very, very glad we got that done. But I have two pieces of loot and I'm very excited to talk about them with you, especially this one right here. Would you like to tell the audience what this is? It's a pen. So this is a micron, a 005 micron. And what color is this micron? Can you mean the ink or the, the ink? Oh, it, it, it's... oh. And the micron itself, I mean, it's kind of like a tannish color. It's a pink micron. And the reason <laughs> I mentioned in last uh, clip, I am being paid to draw a buff lightning god axolotl. Wait, it's gonna be pink? Well, the gills are gonna be pink. And I ah. needed this to do the frills and the gills. I thought about inking them, but I don't think it'd be right. So I'm just gonna use this to do the coloring because I thought black and white and then color, but I'm like, no, I think it would make more sense to do this. So the frills and the gills? I guess just the frills. I have no idea. So the gill, oh, oh no, it's doing the slow-mo. No! no! Okay, it stopped. Yeah, once in, no. So once in a while, the camera just has a weird slow-mo thing. I don't know if it's because I filmed so much, 
But does here's, it show it in? Yeah, it does show it in slow motion. Oh, that's so cool. It's real, I wish so we could plan that. That would be so funny to take it. There are people that like glitch hack their phones to take advantage of that. Honestly, that would be really fun. It's led to some really funny memes. I think my favorite one was um, when when you look in the fridge and you can't find the milk and then mom finds it and it showed an empty section of the fridge and then it glitches and it out comes the milk and I'm like, yo, that, that's too real. But this is going to be really good for doing those details. This is like one of two, maybe three pink things I own. I don't have a lot of pink stuff. I have one pink in here that's specifically pink, like one pink uh, Copic. Then I have, one, I think, one pink pop pen and that was it was a gift or it was in a multi-pack no that's red that's pink that's red well, it might have originally been red but it's faded to pink it's like a light red i wouldn't say that's pink like this 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 is a pink that's like a lighter red but either way i have like literally three things that are pink including this it's just a color i don't use that much like i have oprah's and i have um magentas but i don't really have pink like this copic's like the only one rv13 is like the only pink one what i have about rv04 where right hand side second from the right up here on the right keep going other right keep going that right just grab it right there the round one this one yeah that is shock oh no that is pink ah! Hey, okay, I have four things that are pink. Actually five because there's that's a, that's a refill. So I have the marker. Anyway, so this is what, I did not expect this clip to be this long. This is, for, this is why I like you here because it's funny. It's, it's the chaos, chaotic neutral. Anyway, so really excited for this. And then this last thing is something that I finally caved and I got it. So I think it was last month I bought this brush right here. And I really like this brush and it's doing me really good. It's an inch and a half. This is a Aqua Elite by um, Princeton and it's not bad, but I really wanted the Windsor Newton two inch wash and I finally caved and I bought it. And oh, oh, this is a nice brush. Like for one, it has such a good snap and it's so soft. It feels really good. So it's a half inch bigger than that one? Yes. And it feels that good when it's soft. This is a Christian channel. I need you. I'm just you. saying, it's I, a soft brush. So actually, it feels that good. I have a very funny story. So I bought this brush, and uh, Brandon, one of my coworkers, grabs it, and he goes, "Oh man, that feels like booty cheeks." <laughs> See? <laughs> it's like soft like booty cheeks. And then I'm like, look at, I look at him like this. You're not wrong. <laughs> I had never seen him and Bella, one of my other co-workers, laugh harder in my life. I, I just, like for a minute my brain was like, if you do this, it will be so funny. Yeah, but you don't need booty. That's true, How I don't. How would you know what booty feels like on your face? That's the joke. <laughs> a booty soft brush. <laughs> The moral of the story. You know what it feels like. <laughs> the thing is, about that was, it was just I saw the opportunity and I had to take it. But this really is a really nice brush. Like I love how it feels and how it moves, and just like the size of this is going to be really good to cover large areas. When I was working on some wash paintings, I realized I needed this, and I thought maybe this will do it. But like, really compare the two. Feel how like stiff that one is. Yeah. And then feel this one. Yeah. Has and a lot the, more give. And the Aqua Elites aren't bad. The problem is they just don't have the best water retention. They don't have the best snap. And so you really want that in a watercolor brush. So I'm really excited to have these now. Um, I have a problem though, because I keep buying brushes, but I keep using them. So it's not like I'm not using them. You keep buying brushes. That's your problem. Okay, what would you say my problem is? Hand the camera over there. Now, now, <laughs> now hold the phone. I, I have the camera behind us. Up. Oh, up and down, going down, keep going down. There you go. And then um um. But the gouache. Yeah, the gouache. Yeah, yeah, right no. Here. Yeah, no, I know. And then the comics that are all over our bedroom right now. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. It's two boxes on my side. Uh, and I'm then in storage. Um, that's in storage. That's, that's not still in our problem. bedroom. Though most of those <laughs> I inherited from my dad. Also, the two boxes you got within the last year. You bought two boxes of of comics in the last year. You can't prove that. I can! Where's the evidence? I am the witness. I've been here for a year. Yo, where's the evidence? Also, the dad's, in the box. dad's helping too. Like. So? He's enabling. Trust me, Coco can attest to the fact he's an enabler. Oh my gosh, yes. Coco has a tooth infection, and unfortunately, my dad continues to give her ice cream, despite us telling him not to. We had to tell him like four times this evening, And then no he ice still cream. did it. And then he's like, well, what, this is okay right here? And Josh misunderstood him. I was like, okay, that's not enough. Like, that's okay. Like, I thought I was just eating it. And then he sends it down, like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, like, dad, uh, I, I love my dad, but ah! <laughs>
but I don't believe for a second he's not giving Coco peanut butter. Oh yeah, no, he also was like, I don't give her peanut butter anymore in the morning. I'm like, no, we know you do. We don't have the video evidence, but we know. She rats you out, bro. She comes and wakes me up in the morning. I smell peanut butter. She jumps on my bed. She runs up the bed on the little tiny stairs, jumps on the bed, and then she runs up to my face and she starts looking at my face. She's like, Dad, wake up. I want to play. And she starts jumping around the bed. I smell peanut butter. I mean, you some lies. You're, you're awake enough to, to recognize peanut butter smell. It's a very strong smell. Peanut butter is a very strong smell. You're also strong. a very strong sleeper. This is very true. Do you not believe me? No. Anyway, so very excited to have this brush in the collection. This one's still nice, but this is going to be my go-to. And then I also have this, and we're going to do some art. Yes? Art! 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 Ah! I saw an opportunity. I had to take it. Just want to quickly close out the month and thank you all so much for watching. Went up a couple of subscribers. And in case you guys were wondering that we had any issues during the hurricane, luckily my area was super good. We didn't have any issues, not even any flood damage. We had a couple of tree branches fall, but no one got hurt. No one's property got damaged. I'm super happy about that. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. We had a really good month. Can't wait. The Blue Beetle movie was awesome. That's probably going to be the title of this video. But more importantly, I'm so excited because my nephew Noah will be here soon and I can't wait. So thank you all so much for being awesome and checking out the vlog and everything and watching the videos. I did finish up a super big project, so we'll be seeing that probably in the next year or so. Really can't wait to do that video and post that. I'm editing it right now. But you guys are seriously awesome. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, I'm Jay Rod of Alabama Productions. I draw Power Mail and Soul, and you guys are the best.